Hello and welcome to episode two of, uh, oh, what are we doing today? RPG Exploration <laughs> Society playing Avatar Legends. I do a lot in a day, so it's really like, what did I show up here for today? Ah, oh, yeah, we gotta figure that out. Busy as a bee. Forever and always. My <laughs> hive is terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. Uh, so Avatar Legends is what we are all playing today. Uh, unfortunately, we are down a player, so like any GM would, we are will we will now. Uh, eh, God, my words are failing me today. Um, <laughs> like any GM, we are going to uh, add that absence into the story that we are going to weave. But before we get on to that, uh, RPG Exploration Society, <sighs> y'all, I'm just. I'm not alive. I'm learning this. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Goals. We are aiming to raise $250 per episode. Hitting $250 each night allows us to continue to pay our amazing cast and keep content like this on air. Even if you can't afford to pay us, please spread the word and share the stream with friends and family. A tip of just $15 will allow you to send us a message, which we will definitely read on air. We've already received one, so we'll go ahead and give that a read in a little bit. Uh, Connie. Well, apparently they're not hearing Connie, me. Connie, you might be muted. I'm oh, on your end, though, because I can hear you. No, I can right? hear you. We can hear you. But What's audience... happening? No. <laughs> That's so strange. Oh god, tech Can goblins. You all of us? The gremlins have attacked. It's just Connie. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Real silence. Oh, wrong game, but <laughs> Connie, do an interpretive dance of your section. <laughs> testing, testing. Hello, folks. Spam some cute emojis in chat if you can hear my the dulcet tones of my voice. Three two nine six seven eight five <laughs> two nine. Hello, there's a raid. Hello, raid. Hello. Oh, there, there it is. is. I'm here. There I'm back. Is. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Really okay, stressful. I guess I'll take it from the top. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little stressful. Uh, but hi, everyone. I'm Connie Harbinger of Tech Problems. Uh, my pronouns <laughs> are they, he, and she. I'm so psyched to be here on RPG Exploration Society. Everyone on the back end heard my spiel already, but I'm going to bombard you yet again. But I'm not here playing Avatar with these wonderful, lovely folks. I am the GM and producer for Transplaner RPG which is an all transgender, people of color led, 100% homebrew, D&D actual play live stream set in the original non-colonial anti-orientalist world of Andake. We stream Saturdays at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, that's 5 p.m. Pacific and 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're too lazy to do conversions in your brain, I got you. You can follow us on Twitter at Transplaner RPG, as well as on Twitch at Transplaner RPG. Uh, you can also follow my personal Twitter and TikTok at by Connie Chong, that's B-Y-C- O N N I E C H A N G. And I also have a Ko fi. So if you like what I do here, pop over to Ko fi backslash by Connie Chong to, to support your local uh, trans GM goon. Uh, and with that out of the way, I'm going to talk about one of the lovely sponsors for RPG exploration this season Hero Forge. Thank you so much, Hero Forge, for supporting us. Type exclamation point Hero Forge in chat to check out the wonderful, incredible, awesome customization tool they've created and get your own personalized miniature now with full color options today. It's seriously an awesome tool. Uh, the going live tweet from Saving Throw Show has a feature of a Hero Forge mini on it. So if you want to check it out before you use it, just hop over to Saving Throw Show on Twitter. And with that, I'm going to pass along things to Drac. 
Yeah, so hi, I'm Jack. I'll also introduce myself before you're like, who is this dude uh, introducing <laughs> Die Hard Dice? Um, I'm Jack, he's a, um, he, they pronouns. You can find me on Twitter at Draconics, and that's D R A K O N I Q U E S. I'm actually one of the place, so I'm not going like, to rattle off my schedule, but just follow me on Twitter. I retweet what I'm doing, what I'm doing, and stuff like that. But um, Hero Forge is not the only sponsor we have for the show, which has um, Die Hard Dice. And um, if you want 10% off anything you buy at Die Hard, use um, code SAVINGFLOW22 and at checkout and or you can use and if you use command dhd in chat you get the links and everything you need there um there's a ton of really cool dice i have a few with me i have way too many dice i think like <laughs> 90 there's I think nine too much dice. that's true there's not no thing as too much dice in fact there's it's always such thing as too little so i think you mm-hmm. should probably go get more if you're thinking about it it means you need more okay <laughs> um so use saving flow 22 um, for 10 percent off i'm gonna throw it over to michelle Hey, thanks so much, Drac. Um, coming to you live from this Thomas King <laughs> Cave painting that I live in, apparently. <laughs> Hi, Michelle Rapp. Yeah, no, it's great. It's always, the light's perfect. Uh, it's always perfect here. Um, <laughs> but I am uh, Michelle Rapp. You can, I'm usually found on Twitter ranting at the world or posting pictures of baking or my cats and just generally lots of fun nerdery. Um, you can also find me um, with Loading Ready Run sometimes where I uh, play games. I also uh, do a bunch of d campaigns on Dice Friends with them. Um, and I will be actually uh, doing a podcast with um, a friend of mine for The Price of Progress where I will be playing a, uh, I think an Emerald Dragonborn who is obsessed with taking down an MLM and romance novels. So fun times. Um, and speaking of fun times, if you are watching this on YouTube, first of all, thank you so much. Um, if one thing you can also do for us is definitely just leave us a like, comment, subscribe. And if you can smash that bell for notifications, all that good stuff, it will really, really help us out. And also the channel as a whole, so we can keep doing stuff like this. Oh, and uh, and also you can find me on Twitter at Kiln Fiend Potter. Um, that's because I do pottery as well. So Kiln like a big hot thing um fiend potter do people often assume you're a harry potter fan first despite the entirety of your handle um actually no huh. which is refreshing oh gosh yeah yeah it's great <laughs> no one comes up to me is like you're a wizard michelle and i'm like only sometimes on tuesday evenings mm-hmm. <laughs> with yeah. the campaign <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i love Get that, that shit out of here <laughs> right right yeah all right. Well, lastly, no y'all, needs that. we want to support the channel through tips and monthly subscriptions via Ko-Fi. Enter Ko-Fi, uh, exclamation Ko-Fi in the chat to check it out. Um, I know some people pronounce it coffee, but we make choices here. Thank you, Connie, for being on my side. On Ko-Fi, you can find, <laughs> <laughs> you can tip as you regularly would, uh, but you can also join the Exploration Society with a monthly amount. You get the same great rewards as Patreon and you can unlock things like toasts with your tips. Plus, Ko-Fi doesn't take a cut, uh, so nearly 100% of your tips go straight to the channel. After PayPal takes its cut, of course, but you know, we can't stop our overlords from taking everything. We do our best. So thank you everybody for listening to our intro and our sponsors. And now we are going to start with some Avatar Legends. Let's go. Can I can I quickly just say also send Ev- send Vanna your um best wishes. Uh, she's not feeling too great. Uh just send her yes. good healing vibes. Yeah, we love you, Vanna. We love and miss Vanna. They're in chat. Hello, Vanna. <laughs> Hello, Vanna. I feel like we're we like on the you. court and they're like on the sidelines <laughs> cheering us on. <laughs> yeah. There's like Hi. somebody like wheeled out of bed and Vanna's in it, just all snuggled <laughs> up, and we're just like, hey. <laughs> It's definitely quarantined off. Yeah, I can imagine this perfectly. It's like a special, there's like a special <laughs> little tent. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, no, we got you set up. We got you hooked up here. <laughs> so last time when we left off, we detailed a pilot episode where four young kids from different parts of this world, one a firebender, one a waterbender, one an earthbender, and the other an airbender, had received either a letter or an in-person visit with the information that their father has gone missing. And they are the only ones who can find this man, for he is on the run from the Fire Nation. Um, What reason? I don't think our little youngins know yet. What they do know is they followed a trusted man, Uncle Fong, who led them into a trap. 
But with their powers and their hmm, chaos abilities, they were able to break free, but not before running on top, ru not before running onto a stage during the Burning Man, where they performed the best musical ensemble that anybody has ever seen. The theatrics of it, the, the bending, the musicality of it was all just beyond anybody's imagination. And uh, my razor and my pig and my flying boar. Yeah, were they like playing the I, I sat um Nothing I think they were just Venom. sitting on them the whole time. And oh. then they just looked really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. I I haven't actually taken the time. Do we have a visual, like, what kind of a boar are we talking here? Are we talking, like, your classic, yeah. you got tusks, it, like a hairy boar? Like, is it shaggy? I think so. I think that they're just flying. Um, yeah. So we, uh, if you look it up, there's actually, um, they're fairly cute. And um, if I look up the terms flying If you look boar. it up, flying boar. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. okay. I did on the internet. And they're very cute. The FBI agent monitoring us is like, what? What are they looking at? What flying boars? Flying boars. <laughs> <laughs> flying boar. They're the cutest. Oh, they're not. I mean, I, I don't know if cute is the word. Um, <laughs> okay, we, we have established that my boar in particular is very large and very ferocious. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yes. Boars so can get think... a little like drooly and foamy at times. Oh yeah, he's definitely drooly. Like we have to every now and then my I have to like clean him off with like a handkerchief. Oh, and then no. just, uh, <laughs> so, <sighs> yeah. But yeah, we love Razor Wing. <laughs> Razor Wing is is Bay. <laughs> So our pilot episode ends with you all narrowly escaping the clutches of the Fire Nation soldiers, but not before you hear a gentle, almost like, eep, and Coral has been captured <gasps> by one of the Fire Nation. Oh. Great the justification. <laughs> I think... I think we get, I think we're like flying, we're, we're like getting on the back of Razor Wing and I'm like, come on, come on, we're like about to take off from the stage. And then we turn around and we see that, that, <laughs> that they've been taken. And I'm just like, no. Just like, I, I don't know how people capture in the Fire Nation. I know they had those, um, it might be mixing up One Piece with Avatar. <laughs> Do um, it. Do it. I know that's a classic mistake. Um, <laughs> you love to see it. The, the the handcuffs that are like made out of sea stone is that oh that was like an earth bending well maybe they have um like they get a net and nets are always useful <laughs> okay just the classic the classic net, the classic net. Just a classic yeah. net maneuver yeah yeah this one was even on a stick too it's much easier to capture children with because <laughs> they're so small oh my god <laughs> this is like that scene from like chitty chitty bang bang with like a children's snatcher <laughs> Child, <laughs> I've never seen that, so I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Girl got snatched, also easily <laughs> mistaken for Avatar. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang 100% oh, always much crossover. Yes, I don't even know why they're different. Um, <laughs> so with that pilot episode, it's going to lead us into um, our technical episode one. But before we jump into that, we do have to finalize a couple more of our character sheets, yeah. Um <laughs> in chess so i was thinking like roger rabbit too yeah see that's a reference i get in my brain i was thinking like someone got a cane and like just hooks um coral <laughs> <up frame. laughs> again oh very small child all are very easy <laughs> i've never had to capture one but i assume <laughs> a net or a cane if you never have to somebody <laughs> just left a snow cone out and it just, <laughs> just went over it <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh okay so if we pop back into our character keeper um oh mine's taking a while to load let's do um a little summary of our characters and then we will finalize our connections uh connie you had mentioned uh the feature description yes feature notes basically every like playbook has like its own gimmick or its own thing uh, and we typically get to choose details of the thing. For example, mine are like, because I'm the successor, like my family is like really influential. So what are my two domains and what are like my two resources, right? And I've I've decided them because I'm excited to share. Please tell yeah, us. 
Okay, so in case you forgot, if you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Connie. I'm playing Yali, who is the successor playbook. And it's exactly as what you think, it's what it says on the tin. Uh, I am the scion of a powerful family, in this case, of a fire nation political family. So I am the child of the enemy here. Uh, Yali, just to paint your picture, they've got like short black hair that's perfectly parted at like, I think at like a three fourths quarter. Like, yeah. and they just like maintain it with gel every morning and every Do night they wash so it. so straight. Yeah, it's very straight. Like, yeah, with a comb. Yes. And they have like a razor that they always shave down. So it's like millimeters off every morning. Uh, they've got these really chiseled features. I think they look older than they actually are. And this like broad, straight posture, they hold themselves upright. Like, um, like they're almost like too disdainful of the ground even they're like <laughs> lifted up uh their hands are always clasped firmly behind their back at all times and they're always surveying things very like think like young kuvira right uh and they're yeah. like eyes are bright green with flecks of gold in them and they look more playful like their eyes are the only part of their body that look like it betrays any modicum of fun or joy uh, not because Yali has chosen it to be that way but because those are the eyes they've inherited from their missing slutty dad uh so <laughs> <laughs> With that out of the way, here are my playbook features. Uh, so I basically, like I said, get like two domains, one which my family already has and one that they're trying to expand into, as well as two resources that my family gives me. So I've decided that the one domain that my family already has, my mean dad, not my fun dad, is mm -hmm. state politics. So they're embedded in the fire uh, emperor. God, what's his name? It's been so long. Fire Lord. <laughs> fire yeah. Emperor. Fire uh, Lord's <laughs> Court right? Uh, they're like a, a courtier or like a consort or a concubine or something, right? And they're trying to expand into high society because I think my mean dad climbed his way up into the ranks through like sheer acumen and cunning alone, but has always been seen sort of like as an outsider even. So like he wants to like actually have like legitimate power uh, by consorting with all the la high ladies and gentle folk who were born into it. Um, the two resources that Yali has access to, uh, I've chosen the fun roleplay ones. So the first one I've chosen is Introductions and Connections, because I want to know every NPC we come across. Uh, and the other one is Obscure or Forbidden Knowledge, because that feels like if you present something to us, I'll be like, do I already know about it? <laughs> so that's my metagaming <laughs> above the table reasoning. Uh, but I think it also makes sense in character. So mm -hmm. that's Yali. That is fantastic. I look forward to a lot of that. Oh my goodness. By the way, do we all... Do we all have our father's eyebrows or do we have his eyes? Like, or do we have his ears? I think we all have like a thing, right? I think I'm attached to the eyes, but I, I can also. I kind of maybe... like the eyes as well. Okay. I need to change my Hero Forge character, but sure, we can have his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will need to as well. Um, but okay, I'll go through my feature because I honestly completely forgot about that until Connie brought it up. Um, I have to choose a foe. Um, so I always have a foe, one who represents the things you're trying to smash through. Um, tyranny, inequality, <laughs> war, uh, more dangerous concepts and stuff like that. So I think I would like my foe to be my dad. Oh, dang. I think I, I, I'm i still a teen, you know, I'm angry. I, I think um, him leaving was the reason I like my... I think I said my mom, my mom died like a couple of years ago and now I'm being brought up, essentially brought up by my older sister. So I think I hate my dad for leaving that much of a burden on first my mom and now my older sister. Mm -hmm. And um, I think all he really wants to do is like, he thinks he wants to like fight him. I think what, in the end, he probably just wants, really wants like a hug or something, but he's like, I want to, <laughs> I want to headbutt. <laughs> Him in the, I want to headbutt him in the face and oh make him apologize kind of deal so um so I'm gonna go with um so my dad is the foe and I want to I guess expose him is probably the closest I can do because I don't want to like beat him to a pulp but I don't also don't want him to like don't him I don't want anything terribly bad to happen to him even as an Fair. angry thing um so yeah I think I've got go a lot of pent-up emotion though you know you've yeah. been abandoned uh forced to fend for yourselves yeah so i'm gonna go uh expose him and okay. that means i take a minus one i'm going to plead um with trick or comfort or support my foe so if my dad ever needs me to if i ever need to plead with my dad I'm not gonna go well when I, i'm actively trying to headbutt him in the face <laughs> <laughs> um, oh that's so perfect 
But if I enter into oh, I didn't even read this one. If I enter into a fight against him, I clear all of my fatigue. Ooh, <laughs> so when you take really any useful. combat stance against your foe, mark fatigue to ignore all conditions penalties and roll of conditions marked. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna be really good at fighting my dad. Um, yes. I which... love this idea like if we fight and then you're just like I'm a f and then we're like you you're you have a bunch of conditions, you just punch our dad and then you're good again. <laughs> yes. just, like, oh that revitalized me. Okay. Oh, that's so good. I've been I've been holding on to that one for years now. Okay, that's great. <laughs> this is so perfect. Um yeah, we are like Ray at the beginning of Sozin. I think our Fire Lord is Sozin. Um if we're at the beginning of the Hundred Year War, I'm just addressing some of the questions in chat, yeah. We are good. Yeah, I wasn't too sure if it was Roku or Sozin, but I'm pretty sure it's Sozin. Um, that so, makes sense. Uh, Azu, if somebody were to meet you on the streets, uh, what do yeah. you look like? What kind of energy do they get from yeah. you? And why are you so scary? Why are you so, so angry? I'm, I'm a short king, is what he, I like to think of my character <laughs> as. I think he's about five foot flat. Um, maybe a little bit shorter. I think he wears like slightly <gasps> taller um, sh like shoes or it's like thicker sole in his shoes to make him look a bit taller but um he has like big energy he like gets into people's faces he doesn't like he doesn't he doesn't really care about the size difference because he will be he's sure that he'll he can take anyone anything on regardless <laughs> um he constantly has unlike um unlike uh oh god what's your character's name um unlike yali he doesn't he doesn't have a straight he doesn't stand up straight he kind of slouch a little bit hands in his pockets nearly all the time um if he's ever standing up straight it's to try and get into whoever's taller than his face um always quick to anger especially if someone like makes a mention of either his height or his um like little um, <laughs> um hair tie that he wears that he got from his sister yes um, the pretty one well it's not really that pretty but that's okay <laughs> um so he's more like a four foot five you know what yeah he's four foot five i'm, I'm jumping down a little bit lower now four foot five so small <laughs> so small so small and so so, um, so angry so much anger packed into a yeah. tiny child yeah, yeah you're like a it's like a one of those like um dwarf stars you know there's like <laughs> there's a lot happening yeah very yeah small. um his sister is like 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 this like honestly like the stereotypical model like slim tall like towers over him um but is much more like soft and gentle in comparison to him um, her, her name is chi chi um ah! and yeah, i love that is that dragon ball inspired or uh no it's all <laughs> it's honestly a nickname that my i give my i gave my little sister chi chi oh, so i was so gonna cool. go i'm just going with that that's perfect <laughs> fabulous uh, well then, moving on to our last character. I have to look for names as well. No uh, worries. Oh well, yeah, what is? We were talking about this post or uh, post live. How do you pronounce your character's name? I believe it's De Chen. De Chen. Okay. De, no, De Chen. De is Chen. Like, with an, like a De Chen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I keep wanting to like like it's got an exante gu like in French, and I'm just like, wait, no, that's not <laughs> that's not helpful to anyone except me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, awesome. Okay. The Canadian. Yeah. Oh <laughs> right. Hey, you. look at you. <laughs> Knowing different languages. Look I at you know too. Um. So De Chen is a uh, very much unlike Yali or Azu in the sense that she is of uh, probably maybe the chillest person in this bunch um she is a tall willowy girl um kind of doesn't really like uh, unlike the very like precise movements of yali or like always like kind of slouched like azu um dead chen is always kind of just almost like ambling around like she doesn't walk she kind of saunters if that makes any sense yeah um she's she's very much um she has her two she has her hair tied up into two little buns and um she is a tall tall girl um she is i think about like five ten five eleven maybe six feet something like around that area like she is definitely the tall thin one of the group but is very like well proportioned and very willowy um 
And in, by her side is, uh, she does have her airbender marks, which is really great. So she does have her tattoos. Um, and, and in contrast to her, um, she's got this enormous flying boar <laughs> named Razor Wing, who she tamed one day in the forest <laughs> and now follows her forever, which is fantastic. But yeah, um, Razor Wing is actually maybe has more in common with like Yali and Asu <laughs> than he does with with De Chen, who is um, extremely like she's dressed in her uh, robes, her monk's robes. Um, and yeah, she honestly, unlike everybody else, like she has no beef with her father. In fact, she's never really felt the need for a father in her life. She grew up um, in, is, in this communal cloister of nuns um, who just, you know, will have like flings with various people to have children and then continue the community. Um, and so she is the granddaughter of the current head of that cloister, the, the head nun. And um she is considered to be the presumptive heir after her mother. Um, so there's this, it, there's a lot of pressure on her to kind of embody the lofty, you know, um, bigger picture ideals of her background. Um, but, you know, she's also a very expressive, like, kind girl who likes to make connections with people, who likes to tether herself um, in relationships. And so that's always been a tricky thing for her. Um, it's one of the reasons why she's on this trip, because she's like, I've never met my father. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's figure that. <laughs> like, sure, this will be an adventure. Like, this is almost her gap year from, like, school <laughs> in ways. <laughs> like I'm that. taking time off <laughs> um, yeah traveling the world kind of yeah so she's traveling the world um but yeah she is absolutely um just an incredibly head in the air kind of almost oblivious like I have one of my traces being oblivious because she is not at all used to the ways of the world like she's so very sheltered in her own little nun like her own little religious upbringing um I love it so yeah and so um, I think for my features, uh, my feature notes, I get to choose between responsibilities and prohibitions. So this made me think a lot about what her um, community must have been like, what values she must adhere to as part of her upbringing, as part of this order. Um, so I chose like providing aid and sucker to the downtrodden. A, a lot of things that I'm sure you as our GM will take advantage of, which I of hope course. you do. <laughs> so, so providing aid and sucker to the downtrodden, safeguarding nature from corruption and safekeeping records and relics. I felt like this was a very um, apt thing for like my, my community's order. Like maybe there are several scrolls and artifacts that we keep as part of our um, tradition. Uh, as we travel up and down, like throughout the various nations. My prohibitions are that I can never refuse an earnest request for help. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I can never start a fight. I can finish a fight, but I can't start it. And I never betray someone's trust. And I like to think that she's... She's never going to tell anyone that they're what she's never going to divulge a secret, but you can always tell that she has a secret to keep because her face turns bright red. Aww. And so she's like, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I have something. <laughs> <laughs> so she is um, the sort of like sweet cinnamon roll, except that she's very long and tall. So I don't know, cinnamon, cinnamon twist <laughs> of a person. <laughs> Yeah, no, that absolutely counts. They are still sweet and they're still made out of cinnamon, but you're just a cinnamon twist. You're just long and willowy. Just long and willowy. Um, and yeah, the way they uh, they like to, instead of doing more traditional airbending, they do interpretive dance. So I'm thinking like Stevie Nicks. <laughs> oh yes. <God>. Yeah. <laughs> super, just like super chill, y'all. Like, go with the flow. She starts dancing in the street. <laughs> <laughs> People have to like push by you, what, like, what you, come on. Saying, what are you doing? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? I'm like not, and, and strangely enough, I don't like. No one bumps into me. I just like, I'm just the where people aren't as I dance. Because I'm trying to chase after you. I'm bumping into everyone. I was slamming into everyone as I'm trying to follow after you. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got this giant drooling pig with wings, <laughs> that, which is great. That sees four, which is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect amount. Yes. It's like right. an angry Honda Accord that flies. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta give it a good pat of like encouragement every now and then so it doesn't break down. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. 
All right, so the very last thing we can do before we can finally complete character creation are connections. Um, as with any tabletop RPG, this is how y'all know each other. Um, this is how you feel about each other. Um, this is how a lot of the times it will kind of guide your reactions to why, like, why is the Chen dancing in the middle of the street? Um, do you just know that that's something she does? You don't have to worry about it? Or do you try to, like, body check her across the street to get her out of the middle road. Uh, so we'll start at the top of the order for today. Uh, Connie, do you want to read out your first connection, please? Absolutely. Blank has major concerns, fears, or grievances with my lineage and with me by proxy. I think it could be super... It makes sense for it to be Azu. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. But... You know I mean? is, that where, is that the right you want to go? Because that's the clearest one. That is the clearest one. Oh, it looks like that is could be really interesting if it was a coral also. Uh, or Daychen. Uh, just because Daychen is so, like, like happy. It feels, like, very happy-go-lucky yeah. and, like, spiritually, like, uh, realized. But I think it could be interesting if Daychen's the one who doesn't trust Yali. Whereas Daychen seems like a trusting type. So you know what? I'm going to choose Daychen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Daychen has major concerns, fears, or grievances with my lineage. And with me by proxy. I mean, so that sense. includes the Fire Lord. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, maybe a lot of the things that we have held sacred in our order, like the Fire Nation, has just burned down. <laughs> like, yep. trees and things. Ooh. And so there's a lot of... I think that the way that Daychen might, uh, might express discomfort is just like, I'm really nice to you, but I don't sit next to you. <laughs> <laughs> i'm cool with that and i think yali is pretty i mean like socially they've got a lot of social acumen that they inherited from their bad dad so like they would be aware that you don't trust oh, them but they're used dad. to that they're used to not being trusted so it's sort of par for the course for them but i'm interested to play with that tension yeah it's just um, like i'm so uncomfortable i'm not gonna I sit mean, next to you yali i want to like forget. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, please finish your sentence. Oh, Yali, don't ever forget that the Chen will never turn down an earnest request for help. Yes. Never. Listen, so... something else I learned from my bad dad is how to manipulate people, yes! <laughs> especially well-meaning, kind-hearted people. Oh, it is so... not hard to manipulate the Chen. <laughs> Just like play yeah. Ooh. I'm really excited for us to have a conversation about all the unspoken things. Um, my other connection is blank seems free of their past in a way I wish I could let go of mine. Hearing them talk about the future feels amazing. And even though Coral isn't here, I kind of want it to be Coral. Uh, just to set stuff up for next week. And also, like, could also be a reason why Yali is so motivated to try to kidnap. Oh, not, not kidnap. <laughs> try to <laughs> bring Coral back from being kidnapped. <laughs> yeah. To, to, re, to, to, re to re-nap. To re yeah. To re-nap Coral. <laughs> exactly. Re That's the word. Yep. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, hearing them talk about the future feels amazing. Oh, Coral, so sweet. Was Coral the one that like hung out on a boat with her mom? Yes, yeah. and the mom died. Yes, 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 yes. We that have was two dead moms in the party, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Where tough out there. It is tough. What is this? Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, no. Pokemon is dead, isn't it? No. <gasps> Pixar not... movie. What is this? Disney every movie? single anime that's ever existed. Every yeah, anime. This is like yeah. Every single anime. There's definitely at least one dead mom. Like, I'm thinking card capture. Sakura. Wait, no. Gunner's the mom is also... mermaid, right? Coral. Or a mermaid type? That's what I'm saying. Am I the only one whose mom is around? Yeah. I don't know if that's canon, Drac. I don't know. I don't know. Vanna said it. Mom is. Vanna just put it in. I don't know. Yeah, Vanna just put it in. I don't know. Vanna, you decide what you want to do with your mother. Our GM is like, hmm. Well, we'll figure that one out. All right, Michelle, let us know your connections. Um, I think like Azu seems like the most either Azu or Cora would be like not understand where I'm coming from, like not know anything about my order. Like Yali would 100 percent know about my order. Mm -hmm. Um but I don't know, I, I think um I feel like Cora would be like a really good way of a, a really good connection um there because maybe because they're from the coast um they they've never encountered us and we stick to you know other parts of the world and so that could be oh. a really fun connection i'm just like oh you have no idea like if what i'm doing is weird like maybe they think what i'm doing is cool and normal 
<laughs> that's nice. That's a nice Aww. thing. That's a really sweet interpretation. I like that. Yeah. Um, and I think Azu would make me feel better about my responsibilities and my burden with a smile because Azu, I think, would re relate to like, you know, being around people. There's like a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. I don't know. I you Drac, you, you said that Azu's sister is also tall. And so maybe like maybe I resemble <laughs> your sister in some way. Maybe I remind you of your sister. Ooh. I don't know. That could be cool. Um, I mean, that, that would make sense if one one of the connections I'm I want I have. Yeah, and so I I really like the idea of just having, you know, like even though we're very uh, much opposites, like I'm tall and you're small, um, <laughs> like you you can see like, you know, my responsibilities as the um, eventual heir to my like community and like be cool with that. Yeah, yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Because you mean like you 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 are actually that makes sense because you are actually part of your aren't you like the leader of your community as well like no no please, not uh, really but I'm, I'm uh, self, you're I'm just you're a street kid like you're you with other street kids lead. yeah I'm a self appointed yeah. leader I'm kind of like uh, this person's in trouble I'm the only one that can help out I'm gonna punch this guy in the face <laughs> kind of vigilante deal. I think it was. yeah vigilante yeah, vigilante. Kind of, yeah I guess I'd be yeah. closer to it yeah so maybe like in a weird way you look at like my community and you're like yeah i've got my community too and everyone yeah. else is like, <laughs> like yeah for sure <laughs> do you, <laughs> do you really? really oh that's excellent all right uh drac tell us a little about the connections azu has with everyone uh so blank has a way to solve problems with words instead of fists it's really impressive um i can't i don't know if coral is like a punchy punchy kind of person um i know deshan definitely is going to be like more of a talker but i want to use a second connection for deshan um <laughs> so who talks the way through problems i mean yali has the diplomatic background uh dealing with a mm -hmm. political family um coral so maybe yali just like threatens everyone and that's how they get everything <laughs> done and that's very cool it's <laughs> very accurate actually <laughs> yeah. oh no <laughs> Ooh, um i don't know if i would look up my character would look up to that because he's the kind of person like oh you're gonna throw me let's physically fight and then if, you, <laughs> if, if you're not much of a fighter if like you all talk then don't respect you um Talks to equal so, part. Okay. I, the okay, difference I'll... would be, I guess, like how they talk, you know? Uh, Yali yeah. would be more authoritative. Um, Coral would be more. I don't know enough about Coral. Um, yeah, except the mom was maybe a mermaid, and I'm really concerned about that lore. <laughs> Amanda you know, says I'll... Coral punches and talks in equal parts. Okay. Okay. I might. Okay. I'll go with Yali, I think, in that, that case then. Um, I don't think he would ever admit it because i think we established like first episode that yali insulted the hair like hair tie he has that, um, <laughs> wears. yali is super judgy yeah. okay like so judgy yeah, i'm so like channeling like very much a girl boss but also like mm -hmm. is is good at talking no i love that trouble. Um, yeah see i think that like, first thing like, immediately he was like i don't like this one i'm gonna I'm gonna physically fight them one day, um, but secretly, I think maybe even maybe when you were in in that conflict with uh, like soldiers from the Fire Nation, um, he saw how um, um, Yali at the very least tried to de-escalate the situation without fighting, and he was kind of like that nearly worked, and that would have been very helpful. Mm -hmm. hmm, or, interesting. Or maybe... I'm not gonna compliment them. But I'm gonna yeah. think, <laughs> or maybe like, like that. there were other like smaller interactions where like Yali managed to talk their way in a way that got Definitely. the results, yeah, like sure. done, like yeah, just like like I can imagine Yali just walking into a room, like if we're trying to like find a place to like talk, and you just take over a dressing room, you just walk in, this actor just in there putting makeup, like leave, <laughs> and they just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Yali is very like <laughs> lots of high insight and high persuasion is what I'll say. Yeah, about about them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, so perfect. definitely young. Man. Um, I worry Blank won't be able to hand um hold their <laughs> hold their own when things get tough. And I'm, I'm I'm going to toughen them up. I think I'd say Deshan. <laughs> yeah, I think especially because I probably like noticed that 
they weren't sitting next to Yali. I'm like, why? Why is there something going on? And then you tell them that's like just some honestly very valid reason why you don't really like Yali. I'm like, <laughs> and you just all you're doing is not sitting next to them. You're not gonna like yell or like fight. Is that all you're? you're not going to survive. <laughs> you need to, uh, we need to go through training. We need to be like, I had the tiger training so I can teach her to fight. Uh, <laughs> Turns out Tietchan is extremely capable. <laughs> it's just fine. Yeah, you're absolutely so fine, but he's like, I, I, I take this upon myself to train you. <laughs> I believe you need the training, regardless of whether you do or not. So I'm going to help you. Oh, that's so sweet. You're going to train me and my pig. Yeah. <laughs> The two of you lined oh, he, up in front of like he uh, loves Zoom. Razor Wing. He actually <laughs> loves Razor Wing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I, it's I love it. Absolutely canon um, that Coral's mom is a, is a mermaid. <laughs> sure. <laughs> hmm. That's been confirmed. I don't know how that's going to impact the, the, to the story, but we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. So I think, I think we did it. I think, I yeah. think we have characters. Oh, feels fake. Okay, so um, now I have to like monologue for like five five ish minutes, um, just to cover some of the basic moves. Um, every PBTA has a set of basic moves that are pretty standard um, across the board, but these are kind of um, curated for this game. Um, so there are basic moves and balance moves that everybody can access uh, at any point, at any time. Uh, plead. So when you plead with an NPC who cares what you think for help, support, action, you can roll with harmony. Um, it's when I read through these basic moves and then you kind of try to picture like, oh, I've seen that happen in Avatar. All of these are so heckin' good. Like whoever made up all these basic moves, like they did their homework. Um, and then we have comfort or support, which is a roll on harmony. And it's pretty much what you get um, when you comfort or support another person, uh, roll with harmony. And then on a hit, they can decide if they want to open up to you. And if they don't, you mark a condition because y'all are little beebs and you got feelings. And I want you to talk it out with each other, but it's not always going to go well. And that those relationships are mechanized, which is just so nice. Um, and if you answer honestly, you can clear a fatigue because communication and opening up, turns out it makes you feel pretty good. We have assess a situation. Uh, it's our classic perception. Um, when you assess a situation, roll with creativity. And then you get to ask kind of like some environmental questions. Uh, what here can I use to blank? Uh, what's the biggest threat? Who should I be on the lookout for? What's my best way in or out? Um, and who or what is in the greatest danger? Classics. Um, intimidate. Uh, something we are all very, very familiar with. Um, you pretty much just intimidate an NPC. Um, our tough characters, anybody who can roll with passion will excel at this. Um, and there's a couple of ways that intimidation can be resolved. Uh, they can run away. Um, they can back down, but still kind of keep watch. They can give in with a couple of stipulations, you know, like, uh, I'm intimidated, but I'll only do what you want if you give me some crackers and cheese. Um, <laughs> and then... What is in Cromnitz? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know references. I just talk out of my butt. That's a time. very British one. I don't think many of you would know I, I, I got you. I got you, Jack. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> um... And if your intimidation goes pretty so-so, they can definitely attack you, um, but they'll do so at a disadvantage being off balanced. Um, you can rely on your skills and training. Now, this is a move um, that everybody is going to do multiple times. Pretty much uh, when you rely on this to overcome an obstacle, gain new insight, or perform a familiar custom? Is that a sentence? Perform a familiar custom. Uh, cust right, customs being what you did with your uh, lineage and your background. Um, mm -mm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. I know this is something we do a lot. Skills and training. That is your bending. This is when you want to do anything that relies on your background or your bending abilities that is outside of like, I light the torch on fire. I make a campfire. I bend some water into a cup. It's the really fancy things. Um, you can push your luck. When there's a risky situation, say what you want to do and roll with passion. Uh, on a hit, you do it, but the costs, uh, it does cost you and you will just scrape by. 
Um, 10 plus, you're fantastic. Uh, if it goes poorly, it's fun for me. Uh, we have trick. You can trick an NPC and that's rolling with creativity. Um, again, you kind of get a list of things that can happen. They can stumble, they can act foolishly, or they can overcommit. Um, and they do believe you for a little bit of time. And then finally, uh, I love this. I love a helping role because again, you are family. Um, <laughs> But nonetheless, you have motivations to want to help each other. Um, so this is a role that you can do un as many times as you like, as long as you mark fatigue. Helping will tire you out, but helping is a great way to make sure something else will succeed. Um, and then I'm just going to run through balance moves. Um, live up to your principle. Deny a call out. Uh, lose your balance. Call someone out. Uh, resisting shifting your balance in personal growth, uh, which is personal growth we do at the end of each session. Um, those we'll kind of interact with as we come into them. Uh, otherwise, as things happen poorly, if you're not marking fatigue, I'm going to have you mark a condition. You might be afraid. You might get angry. You might feel a little guilty. You might feel foolish or just insecure. And as we kind of tick these off, it'll be up to you to role play these as you see fit. And then as you have to roll using creativity or passion, there's going to be negative um, stats to those based on your conditions. Does the class have any questions? No, but I will most likely have questions during gameplay. Thank That's you, how teacher. I like to learn as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think that really covers it. We're not going to touch combat until we do combat, which might be today, might be tomor tomorrow, next, next week. <laughs> Who knows? Until then, I'm not going to worry about it. So for now, the screen darkens and a little circle of white light broadens as the scene is chaos all around you. The Burning Man Festival is still going on and there are crowds of people, there's music in the distance, there are lanterns strewn across street poles, there are lights and laughter and screams of joys and something else. But in front of you, behind stage, you have all tried to make a daring escape um, atop of Razor Fang, atop of Razor Wing. <laughs> Not before Coral had been captured with only a sound denoting her disappearance. Nobody saw who took her. Nobody saw how she was captured. All you know is you were once four siblings and now you're three. What would you like to do? Coral? Coral. Coral. We need to go, we need to go back there, we right? To... We need to go back there. Oh, oh, they're gonna, oh, they're bringing out the big net. We need to go. Nip, nip. We go, we're going? Wait, well, can we, we come back? We can't just leave Coral, Dechen. We can't just run away from problems when they come at us. Uh, I, Azu, did you see anywhere about where Coral was? I, I wasn't paying attention. I was, I was focusing on the crowd. No, it was they were right in the middle of the mosh pit. I couldn't see anything, really. Um, I just heard them. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm just going to... I'm sorry, everyone. I just... I didn't want to leave her right back, but they're going to capture us if we don't move. At least let's get into the air so we can get a better look. Fine, okay. but we're not leaving Coral behind. All right. Nip, nip. And so we get, we go into the... Not yip, yip. Nip, nip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we've, uh, so I guess we... Um, Razor Wing takes off and we hover... Um, and we try to see what's going on. Like, what, what, what is up with Coral? Who is coming for us? Wait, how big is this net? <laughs> yeah. Um, so <laughs> the three of you were able to kind of climb, uh, climb aboard Razor Wing. And once you make the ascend uh, towards the sky and you get that bird's eye view down below of the Burning Man Festival, you can see pockets of people um, dancing, celebrating. There's that mosh pit that Ozzy mentioned um, where it just truthfully looks dangerous, flailing limbs everywhere. And then as you all kind of scan um, the ground beneath you, you do see see a line of fire uh, fire nation soldiers that are all traveling towards the lower end of town uh, where the houses are less kept up and there are more parentless children children roaming about look if we if we um perhaps if i just we can move 
closer and maybe we can cut them off at the pass. <laughs> I can land Razor Wing and maybe just clear a path for y'all. I... How confident are you that this uh, <clears throat> creature can pull off such a dexterous maneuver? Of course we can pull, do it. Can't we, Razor Wing? You're such a good boy. You're such oh. a good boy. I kind of want I'm to glad see I'm not down try. there. I say as I see like the saliva sloughing off. Uh, Razor wings <laughs> yeah, like... onto like the crowd. <laughs> Ugh. All right, fine. Come on, borp thing, faster. Hey, his All name right. is Razor Wing. Come on. All we'll right, hold on. Something. We do like a little thing. We're just gonna zoom down. Yeah. <laughs> I love um, this. Um, so for Dechan, I think a role on relying on your skills and training would probably be the most rational in the situation yes uh what would that what modifier should i add that comes out of focus cool i've got a one to focus so i'll go ahead and add wait so is the one i add one dice or just um great awesome okay Three it's D a modifier yeah. oh it's a modifier. 2d6 always 2d6 yeah. always okay great plus one you got it Yay, first dice for all. Yeah. Um, that is a nine. Yeah, big success. Okay, so you are able to so your goal was to kind of like land and cut off the, the soldiers that were like huh, 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 their way down the down the party. Yeah. I was gonna do that and then I was going to um uh, basically have um Razor Wing just um essentially like do an Iron Man thing, <laughs> except it's a pig. <laughs> And just like get on the ground and then just like floor out his wings and then I like vault off his back and then we oh descend and we start to do battle. <laughs> <It's> okay. Like, <laughs> do you want to let me read this right? Yeah, do you want to accept the consequences or mark a fatigue? Um I will mark a fatigue. Perfect. This is so interesting. Okay. I forgot about this. Um, so you are able to, you know, Razor Wing crashes to the ground. And there's that billowing of smoke as kind of all the standard buys get buffeted a little bit. And he extends his beautiful feathered wings and starts flapping, creating a radius around him where people are too afraid to go near. And the three of you are kind of jarred a little bit. Um, I, I don't know uh, how much that... flying boar experience the two of you have. Um, I didn't brace for that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're gonna feel that later. <laughs> um, but the soldiers are stopped, and they're starting to kind of fan out. And one of them in the center of this little um, lineup kind of pushes his way through, and he isn't wearing Fire Nation attire. He is wearing like civilian clothing. Um, Oof, we'll say Grays and where was Fang from? Did we have a history for him? I don't, Uncle we, Fang I think we was. Said that they I think he's a roadie though. Dead, he's a roadie. He's a roadie. <laughs> he's a roadie. So I think his clothes can come from anywhere and everywhere. Or at least that's what we think. He, that we, that he yeah. Uncle yeah. Fang. Uh huh. <laughs> Never seen this man before. <laughs> <laughs> but it's me, Uncle Fang. Um, <laughs> He, I think he's dressed in a motley of colors then, uh, not too dissimilar from the outfit you all imagined your father wearing. Um, and he kind of pushes his way through the fire uh, soldiers. Come on, kids. Don't do this to your Uncle Fang. I just want to bring you home. I have no idea who you are. You've got these Fire Nation soldiers on us. I don't think you're really Uncle Fang. Now give back Coral. Give us back our sister. Uh, no, I got it's my job to bring that kid back to your father. Uh, if you your would just come terrible. along, are you insulting my job? I'm a roadie, it's my job to like hang out with other people. Is, is this the Uncle Fang that tricked us? Is it the same guy, or did yes. we never actually meet him? It okay. is 100 percent him. Okay. You tried to capture us, and we kicked your ass in front of thousands of people. So if you don't want us to humiliate you again, I suggest you hand over our sister and let us be on our way. You know, there was a lot of people that might have seen that, but uh, I, th I think if we change the narrative, it'll be uh, Uncle Fang puts down four children, saves them, brings them back to the father. The father's in jail, who knows? Dad's in jail. Okay. Well, now I think I really can I fight? Can I 
he, he looks up at um Deshaun and Yali. Can I can I punch him now? Can is that a thing we can do? Or are we gonna keep talking? I'm not allowed no. to start a fight. <laughs> Don't worry, Deshaun. And Yali actually puts a hand on your shoulder, Deshaun, and like hops off very gracefully uh, from <laughs> Razor Wing and like lands. And like their hair has come, come kind of, they've gotten kind of sweaty from all the moshing and like from, they like slick a hand back and they, like, pull, they push their hair back, right? They like look at you, Azu, and they just say, This has been a very long, very turbulent roller coaster ride of a day. Azu, go buck wild. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I'm gonna just charge at. I think we need to try to Uncle Fang first. Yeah. And All right. So yeah. we are gonna learn about combat today. Yep. Oh, hey, smash. our sister. Yes. Our sister's on the line here. We're Literally, not gonna back yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't start a fight, but I sure can help finish it. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Perfect. So combat in this game takes place like. Uh, I imagine it like turn-based, like Final Fantasy style. Um, so Ooh. basically, we each secretly choose one of uh, one of the following approaches: uh, defend and maneuver, advance and attack, or evade and observe. Um, so I'm going to pick one in my brain. You're going to pick one in your brain, uh, and then you are going to say yours, and we will clash. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I think yes. so. All right. I know what so. I'm this is very much like learning by doing. Yeah. Um, is easier if that helps. What I'm excited. When you get full fatigue again, just a quick question. Uh, I think you just pass out because you're super tired. We're, we're still okay. children. Cool, 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 cool. We are still. <laughs> yeah, no fatigue is full. That means oh, yeah. we, we can't take any option that says mark one fatigue or we always have to take the or. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I have an idea. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, so uh, Azu, go ahead and state what you would like to do. I would like to advance an attack okay. and I want to immediately use one of my specialty techniques. Yes. <laughs> Overwhelm. Um, Will you read that out to me? Yes. Overwhelm. Advance and attack. Throw a punch with all your weight behind it. Mark three fatigue to inflict stun on an engaged foe. So I just want to immediately stun Uncle Fang. That's the plan. Damn. Anyway. Damn. Okay. Uh, so, now the part where we learn how to play. So, if memory serves, I think we're rolling into each other. Um, yes. Um whoever chooses like defend there's like an order in like the kinds of approaches that like resolve first so defend and respond always gets to roll first and then advance and attack and then evade and observe um but you have to roll with a specific stat and if you get a high enough roll then you can use a special technique but if you miss you can only use a basic one if you mark fatigue okay. or if you shift okay. your balance my bad okay okay let me get my dice uh i probably should have made an npc sheet for uncle fang that'll happen in the next <laughs> session <laughs> just make him super buff yeah. <laughs> in conditions oh, just rips stuff. off his sleeves it's just like just swole. A, oh, just swole. Oh, no. <laughs> uh so i got a nine and i was defending in maneuver so um mark one fatigue to ready yourself or your environment assigning a fictional appropriate status to nearby foes Retaliate. Steal yourself for your blows. That's what I want. Each time a foe inflicts, inflicts fatigue, a condition, or shifts your balance in this exchange, inflict one fatigue on that phone. Uh, okay, so Uncle Fang is going to kind of like prepare. Uh, he's not going to like hold up his fists. He doesn't really believe that you're a threat. Um, but he will be ready to retaliate. Um, so I got to mix success, which means... Uh, basic or master technique. So basic. Perfect. Go ahead and roll, Azu. Okay. That is. Um, that's a fourteen. Um, oh my god! <laughs> I rolled two sixes. I got a plus two in fashion. Box oh, um, yes. 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 Um, so the moment Yali like lets um, him off the uh, off the reins, he just charges towards um, Uncle Fang and jumps 
like he jumps his height, his literal height. He's got mad <laughs> hops yes! and headbutts <laughs> of Uncle Fang right in the face. Do, do you um, bend? Uh, no, in, not in this. He's just going straight <laughs> fist pump. He just headbutts okay. him. Oh <laughs> he just headbutts him square in the face. Um, I have, and I'm. I think I can use my specialty, specialty technique, right? Yeah, anything over a ten, you can use a. Yeah. So I have to mark um, three fatigue immediately because I just headbutted someone. I am dazed after that. But mm -hmm. um, they, Uncle Fang, now is stunned, um, as well as dealing the damage um, that I usually do. I think. Um, I think just one, right? Four. Does it like? Do you inflict a condition? Because like, homie is already out. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, what happens when you when you succeed an attack? Is it just a fatigue point or? Condition? You know, that's a good question. I'm looking for that answer. Um, to my understanding, you can usually inflict a condition. So. Um... Okay. Um, well, it was stunned already because of, it's a special technique I rolled God, with. that stresses me out. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Azu, because you got a 14, technically, like, you can choose from the special list under combat moves under four PCs. So if you're using a master technique, you get to use two of them. So you get you get to use two basic or master techniques on your single oh. turn because you got... Yeah. Oh. So you can do that and a basic technique. Okay, in or that case... you can use that twice, I assume. In that case, I want it to be like um, a basic technique is still going to be striking. I'm still going to like um, strike and go for like the the gut or something like punch him around the stomach to inflict the fatigue. And as he kneel, bends over, jump up into his face for headbutt um, yeah. for the special technique. Yeah. Um, um. So again, I think so. If I you can use this, so I can mark fatigue to inflict. Oh damn! I really got a lot of fatigue. Um, that's four <laughs> fatigue. Um, so yeah, make mark fatigue to inflict a condition. So yeah, I punch him in the gut to inflict a condition um, of my choice, right? Or do you just the uh, NPC you choose? choose? Um, I would like to inflict afraid because he wasn't yeah. expecting this. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna inflict afraid and punch him right in the gut, and then jump up as he bends over to slam in right his my head right into his nose for oh to goodness. inflict the stun status. Heck as well. yeah! Oh, Heck that is yeah. so good. That's um, such a badass move. And because he's stunned, he can't retaliate. Um, so that is really good. I like to imagine just like there's that like that two two move that you do, um, and like Uncle Fang's body is kind of swaying, and then a little bit of blood kind of appears on his forehead, drips down, and his body hits behind him. I just like turn yeah. around at the yard and go, who's next? And I just, just seething at the mouth. Razor Wing um, just looks at you and kind of just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and you can just, there's definitely like a trickle of blood coming down his forehead. Yes! Like, Gee, that was a pretty intense headbutt. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, one of the Fire Nation soldiers are going to step forward. Uh, halt! You do not get to attack a civilian in the street like this. We we will be back for you. Um, and then there's a little bit of chatter in the back where it's like, Captain, shouldn't you just arrest them now? There are kids. And there's somebody else that says, like, did you see what that kid did? I'm not messing. I can't hit a kid. I'm not going to lose my job over this. <laughs> <laughs> and the captain kind of looks back at the soldiers. Oh, you you kids stay right there we will be right back and one of the soldiers does like that little elbow arm hook to grab uncle fag and starts to drag them and they're just gonna walk away oh, oh no, 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 no no that is our victim for us to interrogate <laughs> actually uh yali are we still in combat or can you yeah, get to yeah, yeah. do can i i want to seize a position i guess uh, I want to try to block them, and I guess that's that's the maneuver I have to use for that to happen. I so. Uh, so I want to block their retreat, okay, if possible. Yes. Uh, I guess that's advanced that attack. I guess that's passion, uh, which I have zero of. So oh, let's no. see how that works. Ah! That's a five, and that's a six eleven. Hey! Yeah, hey! it's eleven, my dudes. <laughs> 
Okay, so the first advance and attack I want to do is advance to a new location, engage new foes, avoid an obstacle or danger, or establish an advantageous position. I want to sort of like whip around as they're trying to retreat to um uh to you, Dechen, and be like, do you mind if uh can you ask Razor Wing to go right and we'll go left and we'll cut them off? Sounds like a plan. Come on, Azu, you still got some fight in you? Yeah, oh yeah, that felt good. Yeah, uh, you I'm say that, very quickly just and I look at you. I think we both look at you just <laughs> like, just, just yeah. Blood is like definitely <laughs> different on his face after the head, but it's like, Ugh. uh, and Galvi reaches forward and actually wipes some of the blood off, like with oh, like yeah. a little handkerchief, like an embroidered handkerchief. Yeah, I take embroidered. out the I take out the towel that I use to wipe razor wings. Oh and, no! And no. I just like. Here. Oh. Honestly, I don't think I don't think Azu would care about that. So he just like, grabs it and just wipes his You're face. Street, kid. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's you can. They're getting that. away. Come on, you can keep that. Uh, cool. And what my season position means is I'm gonna just sort of like go left, presumably as uh, Dechen and Razor Wing go the other way. I'm gonna go with Azu and just sort of like pss, like pincer pincer move them off as they try to retreat. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Um, Dechen, give me a, I guess, a maneuver. So, hmm. move to a new location. Engage, disengage with the foe. Overcome a negative status or danger. Establish an advantageous position. Yes. Or escape the scene. And then, practiced basic. So, even for these, I'm going to make you roll to see whether or not you're successful, it looks like. Okay. So, uh, what am I rolling? Uh, 2d6 plus focus. Okay, got a one in focus. Let's hope that um, I'm doing this together with um, with Razor Wing, right? So, yeah. I'm going to use my yip yip um, <laughs> and some or mip mip, uh, mip, mip. My, or <laughs> mip mip, as it were. Um, I get to when me and my animal and companion fight together, I mark one fatigue to use an additional technique on my approach, even on a miss. So, there we go. Not entirely certain what that means quite yet, but we'll work on it. Okay, that is um, a nine. Okay, um, so your mip mip. Is there anything mechanically specific about that other than you just control Razor Wing? I think it just says that I... Let me take a look at... Yeah, it just says uh, when we fight together. Um, so I guess I can just embellish upon what, what we do. Um, so uh, following... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I don't know if you have any other follow-up questions. Oh, uh, kind of. So, yeah. No, you need to finish first and then I get to go. I got it. I got, I okay. got it. So, um, following uh, Yali's um, uh, maneuver, uh, so Yali's going on one end, and I, um, I'm on Razor Wing, and we just we become like a little flying pig person cannonball, and we just sort of delicately but very quickly shoot through a bunch of people as we are or just above people, I suppose, as we go through the crowd, and yeah, we we basically just do that. Okay. And uh, and yeah, I try to clear and, and what we're doing, I'm trying to clear like I try to push people away <laughs> from the fight so they don't get hurt. And I also push the, the firebenders like towards themselves so they don't re really like leave. Excellent. Um, and you got a mixed success. This is where I always struggle with combat. Um, mm. That's what I would like to do. You can tell me whether or not from I my can understanding, you can absolutely do that. Um, so I rolled an eight, and I'm also seizing a position um, as a mob with the soldiers, um, but they're attempting to escape the scene. So we've all been, well, the two of us have been marginally successful. Um, Yali was incredibly successful with the 11. And then I'm sitting here like, so we all just move around, and that's the whole turn. Uh, well, if it helps, maybe. Uh, it, I technically get to use another basic or master technique but that what does. i really want is to just like grab uncle fang i don't care if they get away mm -hmm. um but or maybe like i want to try to like reach for him uh grab him as maybe the soldiers are like unsettled by razor wings saliva or like razor rings because razor rings huge uh and like 
I don't know. If we're on like a bridge or something, I would like to try to smash to maybe like cut off so th- we can grab Uncle Fang and like separate ourselves from them and then book it out of there if possible. Yep. Beautiful wooden bridge with like really nicely ornate Wood. railings. <laughs> uh, yes. So nice. I, immediately I reach forward. I grab like the back of like Uncle Fang's uh, trousers or whatever and I just like rip him toward me and i just sort of like jerk my head at azu to like help me because azu's stronger than me physically like grab uncle yeah, fang i'll grab as well and help and pull and uncle um, fang. I, yep. i'm like parked nearby with my pig <laughs> you're parked on your honda accord i light up my left hand uh and you just see a blade of fire just sort of shoot up uh from my fist and just turn like my like tanned skin just molten red right and i just slice it down not with power uh, but with precision at one of like the uh wooden struts of the bridge and i sever it in like one like flaming slice to just like cut that wood open as i use smash to destroy or destabilize something in the environment that is beautiful um and that is because of your 11 so that's just a success right yes i get to just use two techniques yeah Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah if yeah but you know the consequences are not defined so if there are consequences i will accept them even though you had a major success um it just says i get to use on a to 10 plus choose from this list instead uh and i'm using the choose two basic or master techniques the first one was seize the position and the second was smash and it says destroy or destabilize something in the environment but it doesn't say anything about you avoid consequences or like yeah Mm. yeah Okay, well, I mean, obviously, this bridge was not made with the best engineering, and everything is starting to get a little bit wobbly on your side and on the other side. Azu, what would you like to do as your footing is a little precarious? Oh, just a second. Um, because I used... Did I use two um, techniques? Because I had um, Razor Wing with me when I fought. So, okay. I guess I... I because I, I seized a position. Yep. And I guess I just I just strike at them so that way they just fall back. Yeah. Maybe? I mean you okay. got a nine. So let's choose one basic or master technique. Yes. Um, but the I'm not sure if my pig gives me an additional one. I don't know, but I like the idea that it does. He's cool enough. Because it says here that um to use an additional technique uh if we fight together. So we Feels do good get to me. Okay, so yeah, we we um we just kick up a lot of dust, yes. <laughs> so they can't see much. Create more Perfect. chaos. Um, that's pretty much what your kids' last names is. Chaos kids, <laughs> <laughs> children of chaos. <laughs> Azu, what would you like to do on this bridge that feels like it's ready to collapse? Oh, um, the bridge is over water, right? Oh yeah. Okay, um, I just want to see if I can just make, like... <laughs> Is it uh, troubled? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see if I can just raise at least, like, uh, some kind of wall of water to at the very least stabilize our side of the bridge so we have enough time to run across back to, um, back to Razor Wing. Um, the thing is, like, still, like, very much got, like, rage, kind of in a like, rage state right now, um, staring down at the guards that are running away. But after seeing that we've got Uncle Fang, and it's probably best that we don't get captured by these guards, despite not being able to ca- um, get Coral back. Um, he wants to try and just protect who he can right now. Um, yeah, so I think that's like, I don't know what that would be. Um, I feel like you're just bending, which is just... Um, just a focus? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a block, right? You're raising, you're raising a wall of water. Yeah, if I can reach it. I'm not trying to block an enemy. That's kind of like um, it's more like a uh, a platform for us more than a, a wall to block. Gotcha. Anything. Okay, you're making like yeah. an icy platform. That's cool. yeah. Uh, evade and observe. We have bolster or hinder, aid or impede a nearby character, um, inflicting an appropriate status. So you could be trying to trap the enemy on the other side. You My, can impede uh, or impair them. Yeah. It's just, I, I've i played Avatar Legends a few times and the combat can get super confusing. Uh-huh. My understanding, if it helps, if it helps, Please. like is 
that like combat happens in exchanges so we could technically be out of an exchange and just do basic moves if that's easier like or like makes more sense narratively but we can also still stay in in, in combat. combat yeah um mm -hmm. yeah i i think that that would make sense i guess but yeah i just um i just want to water ben and pull up a wall of um uh water and turn into ice so that we have something to stabilize outside of the bridge um Damn it, I wish I didn't have a minus in focus because I've been great. <laughs> um, it's a nine. <laughs> You're just bleeding into your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. I'm kind of like, ah, God damn it, got razor wing slobber and blood in my eye. Okay, I'm just going to just kind of <laughs> raise um, a wall of ice. Um, for an, I rolled a nine using focus. So I think that's a mixed success. Perfect. That is. Um... We're going to keep that just like bending. Um, so you are able to raise that wall, um, but ice slash water is pretty freaking heavy. Um, and without accounting for that, the bridge starts to collapse. Oh, oh. Were okay. you raising a wall in, on top of the bridge to prevent the Oh, no, not on top of land? the bridge, underneath the bridge. Um, so that it's oh. like a, another, I guess, leg for it to stand on. Ah, uh, I love that. Well, then the consequence is you killed a bunch of koi fish. Oh, um, no. oh no! <laughs> oh, just like looking at the water, the blood in the water, just like horrified. <laughs> They're frozen the in there. It I doesn't look frozen. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. He doesn't notice. He's got blood in one eye and he's making a, a run for it. So he just turns and runs. <laughs> yeah, Yali books it like like takes a moment but follows you and I, like I think you hear Yali go. Oh, those are prize koi, at least a thousand gold per. I'm fish. sorry, That's... we were trying just, to get it's okay. away. You just look up and see Dead Chen looking like, like catching her pearls. He's <laughs> <just> like, <laughs> yeah. I, I climb on top of Razor Wing. I like pull onto this boar's hide and I swing like with. I assume Azu's I holding think, Uncle Fang because you're stronger. Are, are we like wondering? Four yeah, to five holding. Uncle Fang on his shoulder. This a full run. grown man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on. We have to get out of here. Okay. He mip, mip. Slips him over and, yeah, jumps on. He oinks. And then just like <laughs> hot. Just leaves. Please keep the doing air. the foley work for Razor Fang. <laughs> Razor Wing. I really want to call him Razor Fang because we have a Fang. Razor Fang is uh, really good as well, though. It is. Um, That's what Uncle Fang's name was back when he was in his heyday. But yeah, he's yeah. just like and then it's like leads just like flies into the air and um yeah I, I try to we try to kick up a bunch of dust as we go so it's hard to see it's it'll be hard for them to see where we're going um speaking of which i look at everyone i'm like um so okay we've got we've got this guy uh where are we going i mean uh, duchess you might want to close your eyes for this and yali who is fuming <laughs> like pissed off at this grown ass man that tried to murk us like turns around with like uncle fang still like next to azu and like pfft, like makes their one hand really really hot again and they hold it next to uncle fang's face not burning him but trying to use the heat to wake him up and with their other non molten hand slap him on the face a few times <laughs> roughly just goes wake up now oh my god i think right before he wakes up we are going to read some toasts uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anticipation uh so our first toast comes from papa brain oh my thing is on the way papa brain boiler that's that feels very thematic Dad, for today's is that you <laughs> is that you Anna? is that you Anna? <laughs> our you chaos hear... sibling right <laughs> you kids hear about this cursed tunnel thing nero mashu could make for an interesting song we oh, have a so good a toast <laughs> for mo modern chow. Uh, we have combat roll well. Thank you. I think everybody rolled really well. Yeah, we rolled great. Thanks, that's yeah. all. Thanks, Yamocho. Thanks for that. Ah, Thank and you. then finally, a toast from DJ Regulars. New mix: somber songs for slutty dads. Has all the moody jams dedicated to our favorite gang of illegitimate benders, including "Be a Father to Your Child." Biological didn't bother. <laughs> Oh. Where, 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 where have you been? been? Oh. <laughs> where have you been? Those are really God. good. Where have you been? It's a good one. <laughs> By oh my God. Be a father to your child. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. There's also just one like, I don't need you. <laughs> which is just, oh no. Which is surprisingly upbeat because that's Dechen's song. <laughs> it's 
just like, oh my god, I think they're all real songs too. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, Wait, great, really? Oh Be a father god. to your child. That is real music in the world. Some of the songs for slutty dads. I need to check that one out. Do I you? Oh my... do you even... yes, I do. <laughs> I hope that that's a country song. I feel like that would be an excellent country song <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Biological Didn't Bother is by Shaquille Neal. It's by Shaq. Oh my what? god. What? The CEO of Papa John's? <laughs> he made music for like in the 90s and I don't think it was good. No, it wasn't. Oh. He did like Shazam. Like the, he was a genie and then he was like, yeah, yeah! I'm going to be like. Was that real? I yes! Feel like that was yeah, that was real. Dream. It was quite real. Oh my god, okay. Yep. That <laughs> happened. Oh my god. It was like a bunch of people in the NBA decided to try to do other things. And Shaquille O'Neal was one of them. He was, yeah. Yeah, he, he did his best. We'll we'll leave it yeah, right there. I mean, I won't I won't I won't shoot him down for not for trying, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. And he's leading a successful pizza company now. Like this is just he's he's doing well, good for things. Him. Yeah. I don't keep up. So I'm I'm glad he's doing well. <laughs> I just love that he, that's like the most random thing in the world for Jaquilin to be. He's just the CEO of Pop Seriously. Jobs. So but like, random. live your best, you know? You made all that money in your in your prime. Live your absolute best now. Yeah. All right. We're on a pig. Dechen <laughs> is absolutely terrified. Azu is like slumped over on the back of mm -hmm. Razor Wings, like almost unconscious. He just kind of like, just kind of, laughing to himself but he's out of it he's just dazed kind of oh, like that was good um so yeah there's i i think dechen isn't like is terrified but like doesn't show it because she's just too chill <laughs> so she's just, yeah after ahead, the third slap to uncle fang's face and the heat starting to really like make that side of his face sweat he starts to come to uh uh oi hey what are you? My I I grab him been? by the front of his shirt and I dangle him over Razor Fang. Wait. And I hold my burning hand on the other side, right? And I'll be like, there are three ways this conversation can go. Wait, 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 wait. Face wait. off. <laughs> you fought a hold on, you're undercutting the message here, Deshin. Just one sec. Let me intimidate this guy. I burn your face off. You fall to death. You fall to your death. Or you tell us where Coral is and why you're doing this. I just uh, turn. I just turn around. I'm like, I will let you actually. I just mouth mouth that fame. I'm like, I will actually let you fall to your death. Like, like we we that's catch you. Okay, I'll just. I'm just gonna fly. I'm just gonna fly razor wing. It's <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, give me an intimidation roll. Uh, that yes. is going to come out of passion. Okay, my passion is still a zero. I wonder if there's a way for me to use my balance. No, I can't. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> progress is relevant here. <laughs> uh, uh, Asu could help if he wants to mark another fatigue. I, well, I would let, like to... I will, I, if no, I'll be out cold if I might. <laughs> yeah. I have I don't, already. Can, can I help, but in a sense that we're riding a giant slathering boar <laughs> like yeah okay yeah, yeah i'll, I'll mark see if it's necessary to help first because i haven't yeah. rolled yet let's see let's see i don't want you to waste a fatigue I, no yeah. no okay that's cool. a six. Oh my god i'm rolling hot tonight and that is a one so that's a seven that would be a mixed <laughs> success do you want me to yeah. use razor wing or are you i don't think because no, bumping it up to an eight wouldn't help yeah that's yeah. true okay all right Okay, uh, he kind of like he's wide eyed a little bit at De Chen and then looks back at Yao Li with like the glowing hand that is truly the biggest intimidation factor. And then he cracks a smile. And if anybody had knew had known the true Uncle Fang, this smile represents the exact opposite of what that man man was. Uncle Fang was caring and um sweet and charismatic. Um and this smile is twisted. It's like only like the one side and it shows just a little bit of his yellowed teeth. And it's just, it sends a little bit of unease through your spine. And he holds that smile for a second. Yeah. You wanna know where that other kid went? Well, you're gonna have to kill me to find out the answers, but I will tell you one thing. 
she's gonna be kept alive because we gotta extract the powers to figure out the true secrets that your father held. <sighs> so she's alive. You're That's scum. good news. I, I How does it feel to be do. a bottom feeder? Uh, it makes pretty good money. It, it ain't bad. Where is the Fire Lord keeping our dad and Coral? You see, that information, I don't know. I was hoping you kids was going to lead me, but then when I met you, I realized you was all just no good. I don't know how such a strong man made such weak babies. Hey, I knocked you out in two blows. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I am going to pretend like that did not happen. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it did, but, but it did happen. We, we all saw it. We were there. Yeah. Ask Your nose any of the fire it's, nation. It's still on a, it's still a bit I... crooked. You probably want to get that set. Everything hurts. I can't really, I can't really tell, but it was cause of me. It's cause I'm the strongest. So what are you going to do about it? You going to toss me off your stinking boar? I, I turn towards Azu and y'all and I'm like, I think maybe Azu, you hit his head too hard because he's clearly speaking gibberish. I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest. I am concussed. Um, <laughs> I, I'm in a lot of pain right now and I'm just going to lie here. Please don't actually kill him. I don't think. I'm, I'm not a murderer. I'm not going to, obviously. It... <laughs> Yali just uh, pulls Uncle Fang back on to the boar, but roughly begins to search him for, like, anything. Like, searches pockets for letters, like, a scroll, like, maybe, like, a missive from whoever captured our dad. Anything that might hint toward where we should go next. Yeah. Uh... I guess while that's happening, I think Dechen's just going to try to be, like, get more information by being nice. <laughs> And it's just like, so where are you from? <laughs> uh, What's your name? You're definitely why you have to not glass Uncle jaw. Fang. <laughs> why are you so fragile? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna answer any of them questions. Hey, hey, watch what you're touching, kid. Um, and you find a letter. Um, this is a letter that was addressed to the fifth kid um do you open what? it up obviously i opened that shit up <laughs> hey yolly what you find wait what the... i've stuffed a momo into <laughs> this miss man's mouth he's useless to us <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> just take a momo from my pack and just, just squish a dumpling in his mouth <laughs> I think, I think there are five of us. Frankie doesn't surprise I, me. Uh, I tear the letter open. Awesome. This letter is very similar to the one that the four of you received. There is an introduction. Hello, I am your father. I am so sorry that this has to be the first way that you hear of me. Although I'm sure your parents might have told you either good or bad, but what I need you to know is that I possess a great power and great information. There are people who are going to search for me, people who are going to do harm to me, and as my only child, I want you to be the one to find me and bring me to safety. Oh my <gasps> god. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what our letter said too, as my only yeah, child? I think that's like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. and then clearly that's not true. Okay. 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 Oh, what is wow. with this organization? Maybe they all hit their heads because they're so full of lies and nonsense. Why would people do such a thing? Don't say the anything. the only reason people do things for. Don't, oh, I, I, no. That's hurts uncle. That's hurts. Oh, like the fang. Yeah. <laughs> also, you should eat something. Here, have some tea. Nelly, would you like some tea? Does anybody want I, comfort or support Azu to give him like a couple? Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm definitely giving. I'm, I'm yeah, giving Azu gonna, tea and dumplings. He's gonna drink. He's gonna sit there across the lake on the boar on razor wing to start drinking the tea. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not surprised that there's a fifth one. There's probably a sixth. If I'm gonna be entirely honest. I mean, knowing, I mean, from what my mother told us about, told me about our dad, like, 
he probably has 30 children at least. You know, he he didn't seem like the kind of person to settle down, which was fine with us, but mm, I'm going to mm, fight mm, him. Mm, 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 mm. I I I rip the I rip the thing out of his mouth temporarily. <laughs> well, you think he's so special, but I'll have you know that that kid didn't make it. Most of you kids there didn't make it. That's why you're so special. Clearly. You just said any words special. Didn't make it. You just... I I was hit in the head. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm dealing with the law right now, but... I want to grab know. him. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to grab him. I'm going to pull him like down to my hands to go, what did you mean they didn't make it? Uh... I will headbutt you again. Will you roll intimidation? Yes. That comes out of passion? I'm great at passion. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Oh my god. 14. Uh, <gasps> you are rolling so hard tonight. This is ridiculous. And I love it. So I'm going to like pull this. I'm not even like, as I'm saying this, I'm going to gently, like not even like, with force, I'm gonna push my head into his nose where I had by the last time just to, so he feels the pain again. Yeah. Like a Do you want to feel that again? Tears leak out. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, you kid, you got a, a head like a rock. Has anybody ever told you that? Yes. Oh. Right, before they fall unconscious. Right. Tell right. Me. Uh, the kids, they, they died from, from bending. Uh, I heard they tried. To do some kind of um <clears throat> well you know you all possess some special technique uh right your your mother your 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 mother's told you mm, what no i've always been kind of bad at bending actually oh, okay that's probably why he's all still alive then if you do the technique you're gonna die it's kind of why we're looking for your dad he's got that technique and he's the only one that could use it uh, out of character, do we know about the technique yet in the campaign, or have we not heard of it? Yeah, I, I, I don't think know. So I'm fairly sure Dechen has never, it has no okay. idea what's going on. Okay. So. What technique? I mean, it's kind of some serious business for kids. You sure you, uh, you ain't gonna have nightmares if I tell you? <laughs> you attacked us with several Fire Nation guards. If we're going to have nightmares, you've already done the damage. Ah, uh, you're being too sensitive. Come on. Okay, okay, kid, please respect the nose. It's making my eyes cry. What you see, kids, what you really need to know is uh and like he looks left and then he looks right. I mean it's just clouds and there's a bird. There's like a there's like a <laughs> there's a turtle duck flying next to us. Like in a V formation, just a bunch of turtle ducks <laughs> quacking as they do. Yeah. Well, you see here, kids, uh this special technique. It uh, boils the brains in your head. It's a really powerful one. I told you, nightmares, what? every single one of you. You're going to be thinking about boiling brains in the rest of your days. That shit ain't good for you. I, I that's, that's why the Fire Lord wants our dad? Is oh, so he'll, yeah. What? Teach him this technique? technique? Mm, you got it, and then we can kill so many people. This war will be over in a week. That is... I cool. I, 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 tell Yali and Azu, I need the two of you to hold on really tightly. What's gonna happen? Okay. I, we do, like, a, a barrel roll. <laughs> ah! And we catch, and we catch him again. <laughs> oh, so Whoa! you let him jump and catch him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's Stop make a roll out of this. Him. I'm always a fan. Oh, you no. rely on oh your God, skills. is he going to die? <laughs> I would like to help. No. I would like to help. Yeah. Okay. I will go. I don't care. I will go unconscious. Yeah, I would time. also help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this would be fun. No, it's fine. It'll be hilarious be if, if he dies. <laughs> if he dies like this. <laughs> Falls off. Whoops. Oh, this is not Avatar. This is like one of the comics at the very Oh, my least, God. Uh, this is like the Suicide Squad <laughs> this version. This not allowed on Nickelodeon. <laughs> I think, I think Tetra is just like angry and wants to like scare him so that yeah. he gets more information. Mm -hmm. Um so what am I rolling with focus? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a 10. 
<gasps> okay. Okay. So you need okay. Help. okay. We you got there. You don't even need help. Um. So like this looks me and amazing. This pig, mm-hmm. will you tell me. We're like, so I've known Razor Wing ever since he was a little flying piglet. Oh, <laughs> so cool. we are simpatico. Um, we do a barrel roll and I know it seems scary, but it's actually a maneuver that we did so many times because it's fun. Um, but I know that this time it can be scary and intimidating. So uh, while my siblings are holding on to Razor Wing, I, we do a barrel roll and I, we fly down to catch um to catch uncle uncle fang whatever it's not his real name we don't know what his real name is pseudo fang pseudo fang yeah pseudo 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 fang we catch pseudo fang just just lands like right like face down on my boar (laughs) hitting his face again oh Oh, my nose nose (laughs) i think my nose is gonna oh it's bleeding it's bleeding oh no does anybody have a napkin i hand him a napkin and it's covered in slime. It's covered in pig slime. And I just say, yeah, uh, I, you get this. You'll get a clean one if you tell us where we can find our father and our sister. Look, kids, I don't I don't know any of these answers. I can't. Well, where are we going to go? What, where, where, oh, yes. Who has the answers? Who has the answers? Yes. Uh, Do you just like repeat it, but like slightly less, yes, <laughs> less yes, scary? Yes, <laughs> right less scary. Yali. Yali, Yali's just like, who does it? I'm like, yeah, who knows that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. If, and he's trying to like hold the, hold his nose up to stop from bleeding. If you're really looking for some answers, I heard there is a house in the middle of, uh, where were we? Did I ever establish that? It was we just were, like, we were Fire Nation capital, I think. Was Fire it the capital? We like right outside I think we the were. Capital. That's, where, that's yeah. where the Burning Man was. Yeah, that's I'm it, pretty yeah. sure. It's, yeah, it's so like just capital city. It's capital okay. city, but it's like right outside because it's yes. a fire festival. It's, yes. it's also fire festival. That's a different festival. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Burning Man festival. This is the Burning Man festival. Um, okay, if you're looking for some answers, there's a house in the capital. It, uh, well, it's a bit of a safe house for kids who ain't got no homes. And uh, well, the woman who runs it, she's got uh, she's got her eyes and ears on everywhere. It's mostly children that she uses, children and rats. But uh, you know, they're basically the rats. same. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I will headbutt you again. <laughs> okay, okay, I take it back. I take it back. But that lady, uh, she's really good. She's always causing us trouble. You know. Stirring up the pot when all she really needs to do is mind her own business, but she's sticking that nose of hers everywhere it don't belong. At least hers isn't broken. I don't think so. Oh, you're making fun of me. I yeah. You think you're a funny kid? Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I'm pretty hilarious. And th- are we? What are we flying over at the moment? Um, probably over the capital. It's a big ass capital, so like, do we see like a big spire or a turret with like a big like lightning rod or anything? Uh, yes, because those are beautiful, and this one's black and red. Um, I guess I fly t- I fly razor wing down next to it, and I I turn to him and I say, I think that you've given us everything we need, so we're just going to leave you here. What? Oh, uh, um, yeah. I don't Go think ahead. the stairs down. Like the turret is just a decorative turret. There, they ain't no. I can't walk down. Be a- Sorry, we're just out. stupid little kids. We don't know how to help you get down. Bye. I, I, Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was nice head on you. Uh, also, just uh, so so. I think if none of you, uh, if one of you wants to like hook him on, or I can get, or I can get well, Razor Wing to like tilt so he slides <laughs> on to. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the weather vane like the, the lightning rod i like that um, yeah. i won't even that's just something you can do it's just like a nice gentle like razor wing nose to just like tilt the body you're all kind of holding on for dear life and then poor uncle fang did not expect oh, it he there's like hits. a saddle there's like a saddle and things yeah we don't do that makes mm-hmm. sense yeah <laughs> again like uh appa yeah and then we we fly off uh, we just leave him there. <laughs> on this you kids are here thing. for me. <laughs> I swear upon it. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna sleep for a bit. Um, my. Azu. Yeah. Uh, are you? Uh, Why uh, are there two of you? 
You should um, lie down. <laughs> you should lie okay. down. Just drink have some, some of Dechen's uh, tea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is really good. Um, so where are we going? I don't know if we did we get a name. Orphan district, women in charge. That's all we need to know. Rats and kids. Rats and kids. Yali, okay. you know the city, right? So I maybe do. GM, can I call upon? I have resources. Yeah, which so to is say, introductions you and say. connections. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd love to introduce ourselves to the Madame of the Rats. That's what I'm calling her, Rat That's Mommy. Perfect. <laughs> Rat, Rat Mommy. mommy. <laughs> That's her name now. It's Rat Mommy. Oh, yes. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Um. So I how does this work? That. Do I just get to reveal information about an NPC? Your character. Uh. When I can spend resources during the session to establish a boon I'd previously asked for or obtained, something that my lineage's that unique means. position and source could provide. Uh, so, Jesus, how does that work? Yeah. How I think it, this would count as raid your lineage's resources, because my resource is connections. Mm -hmm. This would count as mm -hmm. that move, I think. Yep, no, that feels right. So you're going to roll mm -hmm. um, to raid. I have to mark a condition first and yes. then roll with my progress. Oof. We could also, like, if um, I have my um, tourism, my tourist ability. <laughs> tourism. <laughs> so if you, if you, if that's, if we don't want to use your, to mark, if you don't want to mark a condition, I could use my otter penguins and Nagi and hot springs because then I can roll with harmony and I have a plus two to harmony. Um, and we each, clear fatigue when we interact with the answers so That's i can nice. ask questions yeah i feel so like just... the questions wouldn't be able to get us an intro with the the rat yeah. that's rat true mommy. that's true we could do we both. could do both so we could help azu out who's on the brink of <laughs> yeah no i was about to say like maybe we should do this so we can all clear fatigue yeah. and then like mm -hmm. i can get us there and then you get us the actual connection. Sounds good. And is okay. there a way to use the comfort or support room as well on Azu? Because Azu's struggling. Guys, I'm great. Honestly, now that I'm around like, what, five or six of you, I'm actually very confident we can do uh, this. <laughs> drink tea and heal yourself, I guess. Okay. Uh, and Gally just shoves <laughs> Dutchman's tea at you because they don't know how to make friends. Okay. I, I'm going to just, I, um, I, I talk to, I tell Yali like, can you just, um, you know, he he's very, very responsive. Just like point him where he wants to go. He understands everything. I'm going to go take care of Azu if you can drive uh, Razor Wing. You want me to drive the... Oh, uh, he's fine. He's fine. Just let him, just point him where he wants to go. Where you Yali go number two, you got this. It's, it's fine. Uh, if you, you can ask okay. Yali number four for help if it, it gets... I, I go back and uh, like start taking care of Azu. <laughs> <laughs> because I provide aid and sucker to the downtrodden. <laughs> what is that? Well, so give us a roll first, and then we'll kind of figure out what that looks like beyond uh, sure. some tea. I um, should I roll with harmony? Ah, uh, yes, please. That makes sense. Okay, that is a uh, ten. Yeah, Ooh, tens tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Azu, you can decide if you want to open up. Um. If you don't. You just mark a condition, um, and you can take plus one forward against Dechen. Um, but if you do want to open up, um, ask any. You both get to ask each other questions, um, and whoever answers a question honestly may choose to clear condition or to fatigue. Ooh. Okay, let me just see what the what are the questions are. They specific questions or just any questions? Question. Any Most question? Okay. It could literally be like, so Dechen, what's your favorite color? And why does that make you feel happy? But I mean, if you could tie it into like the backstory of the information yeah. that you know, or yeah. just like, what do you think of our father? Do you have any father figures in your life? Whatever's going to make us feel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think you're just sitting there sipping. He's not in a state right now where he just says anything on his mind. So you can yeah. just ask him whatever. You're just delirious. Yeah. yeah. That's the word. Just like, uh, so I, I just, I, um, you know, I, I take some clean handkerchiefs and bandages and I'll just start uh, just bandaging you up as best I can. Like, I have some willow bark. So <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm like, oh, this is an interesting hair tie. It's lovely. Oh. Looks handmade. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. My, my sister made it. Oh, really? Tell me about your sister. She sounds fun. Oh, yeah. No, she's she's great. 
Um, she's trying to, she's practicing to be a, a doctor. So she's usually um, studying or working a lot, but she takes care of me. I try and take care of her. Um, I used to get into a lot of trouble. So I'm trying to do a little bit less of that, but this whole thing isn't exactly out of trouble. So she's probably freaking out. Um, oh God, she's freaking out. I, I was meant to be back. Shh, like, it's okay. Uh, Shh, it's fine. Just calm down. I, I just, I hold your head in my lap and I just like rock back and forth. And I start singing a lullaby. Oh, okay. It's I'm just gonna... like with no words. It's just like, la, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm just going to. I'm, uh, I'm not tired. Okay. I'm not tired, but I'm just going to just da, da, stay here, I guess. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, da, da, da. Well, hey, what do you know about dad? Perfect. Oh, um, I'm just, I continue the rocking, the swaying, the gentle swaying <laughs> back and forth because that's just how she do. Um, I don't really know anything about him. Um, yeah. You know, my order, we're just, you know, we're the nuns of the open way. And we, we're all just, you know, mostly we're all women, really. We have a couple of boys, but when they reach maturity, they leave. And yeah, I mean... From what I understand, my mother saw my father at a local tavern and they hit it off and then they made love and then they had oh, me. That's gross. That gross. Okay. Yeah. Um, Apparently he's just really, really good at flute playing. Uh, and that's all I really know. He seemed like a nice guy. My mom definitely liked him. La 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 la. Why? la, la. <laughs> <laughs> how long did he like? I don't know if you know, but um, how long did he stay around for you? Oh, he didn't stay at all. It was just the one night. I guess oh. one night after I was conceived, when they made love. Okay, you can, can you stop saying the made love part? You can just the, oh yeah. But making love is wonderful. No, I haven't no. had it yet, but it's such a beautiful part of life. Okay. Uh, I think there's something wrong with your boar. Um, I think, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's something wrong with your boar. I think we should yeah, talk about mm -hmm. that instead. Oh, okay. Um, what's, what's wrong, what's wrong with Razor Wing? What's wrong? Uh, I sort of like pat down at Razor Wing for help to end this conversation. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, well, what's wrong, Razor Wing? Such a hippie. <laughs> They just start slobbering everywhere. <laughs> Excess saliva. Yeah, you probably should go check that out. Um, oh, it sounds no. like, like a. I don't yeah. want him to get dehydrated. Yeah, Do you want you to swap go... places? Yeah, let's Maybe swap places. stop talking about love making. <laughs> I don't understand what your hang up is. It's just, you know, it's, an, it's, it's natural. I don't want to think about dad love making, okay? That's just. <laughs> oh, um, you knew our dad? So you, you knew him for longer? Because I he was never in my life. At this um, point, I've taken command of <laughs> yeah, yeah. my pick. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, I mean, he wasn't around. I saw pictures of him. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure he left pretty soon after he got. Yeah. Um, I still don't want to think about it, though. Because then I kind of automatically think about my mom. And then that just kind of just makes it really... Yeah. Um, Would you like a hug? No. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm. Thank you. But I'm. Your mom um, is gone, right? Like corals. Yeah. Right. I'm so sorry. <sighs> she sounds like an amazing person. She was. Well, Yali, this... what about you? <laughs> What about me? How There's do you not much know our to say. dad? Did you know our dad? Or dad? Obviously, I knew there was another parent involved. But no, my father raised me. My dad. And you could just hear the sarcasm <laughs> working around that way of address. <laughs> so many air quotes. In, so, like, a million. Just yes. a million air uh, quotes. <laughs> yep. Was never in the picture. Because he didn't have to be. My father made it very clear that he drew his line in the sand before I was born. He would never be a part of our family. <laughs> Not like my father even wanted him to be. Oh, who's your father? You say he made ugh, love, and it sounds like hot marbles <laughs> in Yalali's mouth, like it's pa physically painful for her to say, <laughs> to your mother. 
but <laughs> how can it be love if they hardly even knew each other? Uh, I Dejan thinks about this question seriously. Because it's just it's a-, a fantasy. It's just infatuation, just chemicals firing synapses, firing more <laughs> chemicals in our brains. It's not real. Ooh, um, um, uh, speaking of like synapses, not to take away from this, because I appreciate that you also seem to have a disliking for our dad. I plan on like headbutting him and like beating him up <laughs> when we find him. If you want to like have a go afterwards, I called him first. But if you want to have a go afterwards, I I'll, I'll let that happen. I I just I don't really want to fight. I I guess I was just here because I wanted to know what he was like, and it sounds like he wasn't really good to you both. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That's not fair. There's nothing to be sorry for. I can't speak for Azu, but. My dad, this person that he's not, he doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. So how can you don't have to be apologize because there's nothing to apologize for. I'm not traumatized because he was gone my entire life. I'm not broken from that. I, I've accepted it. And the only reason I'm here and I sort of turn to Azu and sort of like nod is because, well, I need to figure out who I am. And that doesn't mean knowing who my dad was. This is just a decision I'm making for me, not for him. So if you can have a go at him, I don't care. You can beat him up, you can headbutt him, you can scar his nose forever. I, I'll happily watch. I Depending on the kind of guy he is, I might want to have a round two. Decha is very uncomfortable, but is not great with confrontation. <laughs> and so she just sort of turns. <laughs> And it just starts talking to Razor Wing. <laughs> How are you doing, boy? You're but such a good boy. Just, speaking of like firing synapses, boiling brains. Yeah, uh, I I was surprised. At this point, I turn around. I was like, I I'm surprised to hear that because, you know, my mother only knew him for one night, but he didn't seem like the kind of serious person to know that kind of technique. I know my mom wouldn't have gone with anyone that awful. There's a pronounced pause in Yaldi's response. My father might have known. Actually. Oh, yeah, who is your father? Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, and Yaldi, like, gets very cagey, actually, and, <clears throat> like, clears their throat and, like, slicks their hair back again. It's no big deal. Uh, I mean, I'm a Fire Nation kid. Uh, uh, that's all you have to know. I think as Yali does the bat, like does his best to really avoid these questions. Um, Razorwing starts to shake his head, and saliva and foam just start flying <laughs> everywhere. And at that uncomfortable, like, oh no, Raz- why I just, you? I just, I just like <laughs> immediately like bend it away. <laughs> I think we will end right there as the kids have to, uh, you know, deal with the <laughs> the day-to-day things of a flying boar. And that's the end of our first official episode. Now, we have a little bit of growth to figure out. Because, um, again, like PPTA, you level up at the end of every episode uh, session as long as you did something related to your growth. Um, so Azu, did you make any progress towards your goal against your adversary? Um, I honestly feel like we, I mean, we got information. Yeah. We got information of where to get information of where to find my adversary. <laughs> so I don't know if that really counts. I think that's progress. Yeah. Would it? Okay. It's um, measurable. You can move forward. Um, so, uh, on our, um, uh, character keeper. Under uh, cell 71, um, under growth questions, you have a couple of growth advancements. Um, yeah. Which eventually okay. means you could get a new move. You could unlock your moment of balance, raise a stat, 
or mm. shift your center of balance, which will, I think our balance will have a bit more of a, a pronounced effect in our next session, because I have to read more about it. <laughs> um, so after, so do I have to, do I have to like advance twice before taking one of these things? Yes. Like two clicks okay. and then you get it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go, with, I want to advance, take a new move from my playbook. Um, I think I've gone with the headbutt technique a lot and it's mo been mostly with fellow kids and headbutting Uncle 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 Fang <laughs> um, was like, whoa, he adult heads are a little bit harder. I might need to try it out. <laughs> I need, might need to learn something new. The uh, head of a child. <laughs> <laughs> so much softer than the head of a man. <laughs> Weird how that is. <laughs> so bizarre. So like, oh, I, need, I might need to like figure out another way. Um, to take out some of those that might be in our way. <laughs> using your head. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Uh, Dechen, did you accomplish a feat worthy of your burden and tradition? I mean, I definitely helped, did my best to help my siblings, for sure. Like, with Azu providing aid and succor, um, and also just, I didn't start a fight. <laughs> Like, it would your mother have been proud of you? Yes, she would have been proud of me. Then I think you did well. <laughs> Aw, yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. I'm not sure if I want to do a, a take a new move or unlock my moment of balance, because I feel like both could be very cool. Um, right? Yeah. I'm also I not against, like, if you pick whatever now and then next session there's growth and you're like, actually, I want the other one live your best yeah i think i'm gonna unlock a moment of balance like that nice. could be very cool all right and then yali did you learn something meaningful or important about your lineage its members or its effects on the world and others does fun dad count as honestly part of i lineage? think so because yeah unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately yeah. okay yeah <laughs> then yeah. i'll take one toward moment of balance as well i think yeah, that's fantastic. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for this fantastic session of Avatar Legends, the RPG. As always, I have been your host, V Zelda. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. is at V underscore Zelda, podcaster, streamer, writer, community manager. Um, and y'all, if you want to catch up on all of our shows on YouTube or as podcasts, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that little bell to be notified when new content is posted to the channel. Join the Exploration Society on Ko-Fi and join our Discord, where we talk shop all day long, including a thread for just this episode. Uh, so if you want to share your thoughts on salivating flying boars, um, <laughs> what would your brain-boiling technique look like? Oh my God. <laughs> um, Oh my God. Any slutty no. dad songs that you have, share them in our Discord. And oh I'm my God, to check please. It out. Yeah, please send us all slutty your slutty, song, slutty dad songs, especially with their country music. For some reason, I feel like it's perfect. Isn't that, <laughs> I think that's horrible, but I feel like country music really embodies like what we imagine as a slutty dad if it had to be music Yeah, just like a storytelling. I, I think the storytelling aspect of country music is perfect for this. On, that, that's just yeah. Awesome. yeah, I can definitely see that, yeah. I like that. Uh, Michelle, where can we support you and find you? Wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. You can find me on Twitter at KilmFiendPotter, where I mostly rant about all manner of things, including cats, bread, and against the patriarchy. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at KilmFiendPottery, where I post pictures of my ceramic artist work on process, uh, ceramic artwork in process. Um, yeah, you can check me out in those places. And yeah, thank you so much. Fantastic. Uh, Connie, where do we support you and everything that you do? Hey everyone, Connie here. Uh, you can check me out on Twitter, TikTok, and Ko-Fi at ByConnieChong. That's B-Y-C-O-N-N-I-E-C-H-A-N-G. If you enjoy what I do, toss toss a coin to your Connie. And that's all. <laughs> Pass it along to Drek. Toss a coin to your Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Jack or Draconics. You can find me on Twitter at Draconics. That's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. I actually went over the place, so it's honestly the best place to find out what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. Um, the one thing I will shout that I'm very excited about is that I'm going to be over on Stella Luna's channel. That's S-T-E-L-L-A-L-U-N-A -L -L on Twitch um, at 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday. I'm going to be re returning as a guest. I'll be playing Dari, the champion of time. Um, some of you guessing there, it's going to be 
a lot of fun. Uh, it was a ton of fun the first time I came on, and the cast left off in a very precarious situation last episode. So I'm probably going to have to try and save them from that. Um, but yeah, so check out what I'm doing. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, and it sounds like my cat really, really needs to say goodbye to everybody. So if you give me a moment. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <gasps> cat reveal. Cat scrum. I love the scrum cat. Yes. <laughs> yes. Show the us the goods. People want the cat. 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 <gasps> oh, oh. That's a chonker. Hello. She yeah, says goodbye. Oh, thank you, everybody, for playing. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>